How's it, everybody? Uh, this is an essay that I don't recommend that you write. Um, yeah, I know, crazy way to start the video. Argumentative essays are just a little bit more difficult to write. You've got to follow Peel very perfectly. You've got to have a, a robust understanding of the topic at hand, good understanding of the format too, use some nice like joining, leading words. However, furthermore, moreover, and it's hectic. So if lit essays give you some kind of trauma, um, this essay is probably not for you. Uh, and that being said, it's quite difficult to con like consistently score 80% for an argumentative slash discursive essay, whatever it is. Reflective essays are probably the best move. So that being said, uh, let me not discourage you in any way, shape or form. I probably have, sorry, um, but I don't recommend that you write it. But if you are like, yep, I'm 100% going for this topic tomorrow or whenever you're writing, by all means do it and use this essay as a bit of a guideline here. Um, so AI is a threat. This is actually from the most recent paper, the November 2024 paper, look, it just depends when you're watching this video. So artificial intelligence AI has emerged as one of the most transformative forces of the 21st century. You're just introducing AI here, uh, reshaping industries, education, and even human interaction. And while its potential benefits are undeniable, there is a growing concern that AI poses serious risks to society. So we're talking about benefits now, and we've introduced the risks. Okay. So whether viewed through the lens of employment, ethics, or security, it's difficult to ignore the possibility that AI, left unchecked, may become more of a threat than a tool. So again, pros and cons, that's what we're doing throughout the entire essay and trying our best to follow some level of peel. So first one, first paragraph here, usually two, two paragraphs, um, introduction, conclusion, always an introduction and conclusion. Please, if you don't know that by now, you're gonna give me a heart attack. And then three bodies. Four or five are a bit, a bit excessive. You can get away with four, I have seen it, uh, but five is a bit too much. Then your paragraphs, they just look a little bit smaller. One of the strongest arguments supporting the idea that AI is a threat uh, lies in its impact on employment. Now, as machines become capable of performing complex tasks, ranging from customer service to data analysis, human workers are increasingly displaced. So we've got a nice point, we've got a good evidence, and we've got our explanation here. So automation in factories and AI-driven software in offices are reducing the need for human labor, leading to widespread fears of job loss and economic inequality. Look, I might just add that this is an essay that I did write, um, so I marked it by myself. I, I do believe that this essay is, is worth a distinction. If I do say so myself, uh, I did mark it in accordance with the rubric. I, I think it's even close to 90. It really just depends on, on, well, on the examiner, how it's marked. Look, like the same examiner, well, sorry. The same essay could be like a 41 or like a 47, depending on the examiner. That That's really just how it is. It's, it's purely, purely subjective. It could really rub the examiner the wrong way if you want to go along the lines of something a bit more controversial, like race, religion, politics, anything along those lines. That's that's a bit sketchy. I would steer clear of it if, if possible. Okay, um, and then just relating it back to the actual topic. So while proponents argue that AI will create new kinds of jobs, the reality is that these positions often demand technical skills that many workers lack, widening the gap between uh, the technologically skilled and the rest of the workforce. Okay, so just relating it back. Uh, next, ethical concerns further reinforce the argument that AI can be dangerous. So again, your point is very, it's it's quick, it's distinct, it's different from all the others, and most importantly, it's succinct. Your point, you're, you're just giving the point without any additional information. That's what succinct is. It's, it's to the point, to the T. AI systems learn from data, and when that data reflects human bias, the outcomes are often discriminatory. So from racial bias in facial recognition to gender bias in hiring algorithms, uh, AI has already demonstrated its potential to amplify uh, some level of injustice. Nice joining word here. Okay, um, and again, whenever you, you, you utilize that L portion, that link, use the word show, this enables, this clearly illustrates, whatever, whatever, and then related back to the question, it being a threat. So yeah, look, I, I won't read the entire essay with you. I'm sure a lot of you will just get bored and you'll fall off to sleep. But yeah, this this is basically what the essay is looking like. Uh, security risks present another major threat. See, it's quick. It's to, to the point. No nonsense. And then give some kind of evidence. So AI-powered cyber attacks can adapt and learn faster than traditional defenses, posing a challenge to governments and businesses alike. Boom, done. That's your evidence. And then there's the explanation of it all. Uh, this enables, blah, 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 blah. And in the wrong hands, AI can be weaponized and so on and so on. And we've got a nice link. So minimum, every paragraph should have four sentences. The first one, your point, 
it doesn't have to be well developed it's just punchy to the t and then everything else yeah to some extent you need to develop it use words like however furthermore therefore all that good stuff and it would be fair to dismiss ai entirely as harmful Again, nice little punchy point. We've got our evidence here about how AI has the power to enhance medicine, education, and environmental sustainability, uh, and just a little bit more. So it can detect diseases earlier, personalize learning for students, and optimize energy use to reduce carbon emissions. So like pollution and all that. Okay, and look, this is an argumentative essay ended with in conclusion. Same with your lit essays. Don't worry, I'll, I'll drop some hamlet crucible a telolid ss for you guys just so you can see what a like a really solid one looks like and yeah just follow, follow the format so if you're like a lit essay god or goddess whatever uh maybe the argumentative essay is for you if you're really not then stay away from it as i believe it's all about maximizing your marks please don't go be a hero in your exam uh ai is both a remarkable information and potential threat so again pros and the cons and we're just telling the examiner like pretty much everything that we've discussed uh, and then again like some kind of word of wisdom or some kind of solution at the end that's not introducing anything new but just kind of reinforcing what we've already discussed so if humanity learns to control ai rather than being controlled by it the technology may yet serve as a powerful ally uh, instead of a looming danger and boom boom bang that's the entire essay and then you can move on peacefully to your transactionals